want to show you the bullet holes in the side of the red Mini Cooper that is in the parking lot in front of the Waffle House. While this is happening, these young women say they're ducking behind that work truck. You could see the SUV that crashed into the light pole, the impact so hard that that pole cracked in half. Now it's just feet away from this area, and you can see it's in three separate pieces, but it's hollow. You can see and hear that. It actually shares a fence with this property on Aurora Boulevard. Kyle's gonna send you right up and over. This is where they say McGee actually targeted people. Look at the accumulation. We're not talking snow angels, but we are talking enough for a snowball. You see the sea foam here, I'm 6'5", and it's almost knee deep on me. We're gonna walk towards uh, the ocean now towards the beach. This is what we're starting to see now. More debris out in the streets, including roofing shingles, a lot of water just like this. The heavy winds, it was just pushing it towards that street because of the storm. I almost fell in it. My photographer fell in it earlier. The roots and how the lip of the grass and the sod just basically came up cleanly with it. About a foot deep, so much so that you can barely see this broken pot. Gosh, just the gasp of energy that came out of this crowd. This entire clinic is about the size of an exam room, but Dr. Turner tells me with this technology, there's no limit to the amount of people she can treat. For about the past month, they've been checking their mailboxes, and most of the time it's empty, even though they're expecting to get mail. The woman was then able to kick the guy to the ground, put the car in reverse, and take off. She said she had her phone and all the accessories on the hood of her car. But she said the buyer took the phone, pushed her, and ran off toward the Arlington Expressway. Butler says the suspect had to jump that fence in the middle of the busy road. Her cousin did the same and was right on his heels, catching up to him right here on the service road. This is video from about a week ago showing weeds nearly five feet tall. Well, this is what it looks like now. You can still talk on your phone. Many cars have hands-free technology. Please say a command. Call Action News Jax. Action News Jax. I've written mine right here. Can you spot the problem? See, I've added an extra L, but that might blend in just enough for you to think I'm emailing you. A tenant walked us around this complex showing us different concerns, this being one of them, a manhole with a cover that could be easily removed and it's just feet away from a playground. I'm not giving you a statement on anything, but you can get off my property. Really? So now you're saying we're trespassing when you said you were just going yeah, to come out here? Yeah, trespassing. I really have no comment. I really have to get things done for the children. We understand, but we've been out here for days, and parents have been telling us they haven't heard anything from the school. Where is the documentation that the Department of Education was looking for for that scholarship? I'm not talking. Did you take pictures of these girls, or how did that go? Sir, this is your chance. If, you, if they have it wrong, let us know. I see you guys are still operating. Private property, get on the yard. Then an employee pulled up to the front gate to block our view of the tires, nearly hitting my photographer in the process. But our interview was interrupted <coughs> by a knock at the door. I'll be right back. Okay. Do you know who that is? No, I don't. It was the owner of the unit where the pit bulls live. Why is this on the news? Because this is a horrible thing that happened, and it happened after they've already attacked and killed Peanut. Peanut ran into my door. Turn the f thing off! I didn't know anything about it till he got arrested. Okay, the incident address says That's this address. That's where he was arrested. It says the incident address is this address and this lot. Well, that's wrong because the incident did not happen here because I didn't know anything about it. It was all blown up out of proportion, and it'll be straightened out. There's not a problem. And this is going to ruin her career if you keep on going the way you guys are going. Tonight, we went to Jonas's home for comment, but no one was there. But his next door neighbor, Michael Hudson, wanted to come to his defense. Something about President Obama, about the Obama health care or whatever, and supposedly he threatened to uh, do something with the president. Several convention center projects are competing for what used to be the old city hall and courthouse. Action News Jax mapped out the homicides and murders and found a majority happened in the Arlington and Southside neighborhoods. I got year-to-date crime stats for Jax Beach and found overall crime was down. 
That city employee allegedly told that veteran his service to our country did not matter. Among the big changes, the personal exemption is gone, replaced by the $500 other dependent credit off one's tax bill. Another major change, the standard deduction has nearly doubled, up to $12,000 for single filers and $24,000 for couples. A group marched through the streets of McClenny Saturday, calling for justice for DJ Broadus. UNF students marched and made their voices heard outside the suspension appeal hearing for student and self-proclaimed Nazi Ken Parker. This map shows where about a dozen paid parking lots would be, a total of 300 spaces. The suspect was arrested shortly after. The report says he told police he thought it was a bed and breakfast and that he was thirsty. He forced her to drive for about a mile and a half to a secluded area, the old Georgia Power Building where she says he had her park the car and get out. Deputies say you can see Deborah Riggs browsing around the boutique before shoving a pile of clothes into a bag. Florida is considered one of 33 states that has approved comprehensive public medical marijuana and cannabis programs. Beep, beep. This is the Diva Mobile. The Herload IRS employee has been driving for Uber for about a week. I'm able to survive, especially through the Uber. This is one of my methods of my ways to survive, but it's, it's just hard. It's hard. You're actually a lifelong Falcons fan and Jags fan, right? Yeah. So you really hate the Patriots. I, I hate them. No resolution. No, it's You're just yes, great at everything, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs>